What up guys, Crazy Gunner here, M9130, back to you with another, I guess I could say a review slash um, product review in a way, but more like announcing this new vehicle right here that's welcome to our family. Uh, we've had this vehicle for a good, um, I would say uh, two months, about two months, uh, but it replaced another vehicle, which was the Prius C. Um, this is a 2018 Toyota Corolla um, SE um, in the special blue that they have. Um, this has the dual projectors, the running lights, also the daytime running lights are here, the beam. Um, this is a fully, I guess you could say not fully loaded car. This is an SE, the XSE is the fully loaded one. So this is it right here. SE Corolla. Um, so we picked up this car about a month ago, a month and a half, I think, maybe even two months ago, due to the Prius um, being uh, totaled. Um, that's another video to come, probably eventually. Uh, I don't want to really talk about that at the moment. Just talk about the new vehicle and um, how amazing it is. Um, this has ev every safety feature you can get. ABS, traction control, daytime running lights, Toyota Safety Sense, just like in the Tacoma, the pedestrian, lane departure, lane assist, the full Mancho. This is also a redesigned front end. This has the uh, the 4 liter, the 1.8 liter, 4, uh, four cylinder, inline 4, my bad, front wheel drive uh, with a CVT transmission. So I believe it has seven gears um this also has a uh, paddle shifters sport mode and all the cool fun fancy things that you'll probably never use in a daily driver really so it gets about 30 miles a gallon so we're about averaging right now i think about 29.8 um it's a town car has about a thousand miles on it i'll tell you things that i like and i don't like about the vehicle at the moment uh one thing that i love about this vehicle and still hate uh, this is the color. This blue is beautiful, which you can see. And just look at the interior too. The interior is also matched. So we got blue accents, a blue liner, a blue stitching, not well, yeah, blue stitching, white stitching, silver stitching. Beautiful car. Absolutely love it. I hate the color somewhat. Uh, the Prius was a white vehicle, it's pearl white. This one's blue, and it's really dark. And so it acts as a black vehicle here in town, so it really, really sucks at keeping clean, which you can already see. Um, we had rain, and it just spit on it, and it just got fully detailed. Uh, one also thing that I really hate about this car, about love, is that front end. Look how aggressive it looks. This is a Corolla, um, which you can already see. We already have rock scratches and rock impacts right here, just all over this place, everywhere. There's already scratches and wind swirl marks everywhere. But one thing that this car will get that the Tacoma does not is the dual projector headlights that are in LEDs and Toyota's LED stock are amazing which we can see right here when I put this on they're amazing absolutely amazing it has auto high beams as well and it senses um, light or s something crazy and it'll turn off the high beams and turn them back on um, the headlights are ridiculous in this car they're like spotlights the high beams there's like micro little spotlights and these are just perfect everything about this car I love it has when you get in here it has uh, excuse me, my bad. My girlfriend's been driving this. It's basically her car. So this is what you see when you get in. 
a nice old school but still nice dash. One thing that I don't like about this dash, uh, which we have right here, the SE. Now the XSE gets push button start. The SE does not, which is pretty surprising for being a <laughs> Toyota. Um, even the Prius had push button start, and that was a really cheap, cheap car. One thing that I don't like about this de this display, it's the same thing as a Tacoma, a Tundra, but it does not have a digital dash. I mean a digital heads up display telling you how fast you're going. Which in the Tacoma and the Tundra, um, also the Prius, it, it tells you how fast you're going digitally. So when you're cruising down the highway, sometimes you don't pay attention to this because it skips. It goes 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. So it almost, you almost have to like look at it and do simple math knowing how fast you're going. And I don't like that. Um, I wish Toyota would have put a digital one in the middle just like the Tacoma. I don't know why they didn't do that. Um, I love this right here. This is awesome. But it's really the same thing. It's the same. It's the same thing as you took home, my guys, with the with the technology package. It's all the same. Now it doesn't have auto uh, dimming. It has manual dimming rear view mirror. Um, this is kind of cool, but you know everything's still a Toyota. Um, it has all windows roll up and down. Only the driver is a uh, automatic um it does have paddle shifters it has seven gears if you push it all the way down over here into manual mode um you could actually use the paddles and we could put it in over here sport mode which will change it just a little bit and i did notice that it is a little more aggressive when you do put it in sport mode um nothing too crazy uh, has intermittent windshield wipers, which is pretty cool. The Prius actually just <laughs> didn't really. The thing was really, really cheap, cheaply made. Um, a couple. I just popped the hood or the bonnet for you guys. Now, <laughs> my girlfriend did the safety thing. Now, the back seats right here, I love. Um, I have no complaints about the back. Which we bought the WeatherTech mats factory so when you sit back here you got a lot of room look at this room guys and this is how she drives it that's how i drive it there's a big difference so you can sit back here and you got a lot of room you got a lot of headroom too look at this you know it's almost like a camry back here it's amazing and the the trunk the trunk and just like you got two cup holders back here uh, just a, you, got, you don't have any charging ports, but you got little things. You got some more cup holders. You got, you know, your switches, your oh shit handle right here, airbags. These do not move up and down. These are stable in one in one spot only. The middle one you could take out right here. Um, you have your metal seat, so you got you can fit three, two in the front. Pretty basic car. Now, out here, you have your little gas tank, which you can't get to, just like most Toyotas. You gotta pop this little guy, and you gotta pop this for the boot or the trunk. So this is pretty, you know, oh well. Take this off, you put it on here. That's how the Prius was, it's pretty simple. It's not a sports car, so. Now, the trunk, look at this, it's huge. I could fit in here, which I'll do it right now. It's a you guys. And I can fit back here pretty damn comfortably. It's amazing. So back here you got your light, you got your two rear speakers, and you fold down the seats, and you go like this. You got your child safety lock, which is right there, which glows in the dark. Yeah, that was the first thing I tried when I... <laughs> No, when I bought this car. I was like, can I fit in the back trunk? Oh yeah. You fit two people back there, it's amazing. And it's light. This thing is so light, it's unbelievable. 
This also has factory LED reverse lights. Factory, right here, it's amazing. It's got a little ducktail spoiler, pretty basic Toyota thing. It's got fake carbon, it's got a chrome tailpipe, which, oh well, you know, it's a basic car. The underneath is extremely aerodynamic. This car's absolutely mind blowing. The blind spots in it are amazing. There's no blind spots. Compared to the Prius C that we had, there's a little bit. When you put your blinker on, either the driver's side or the passenger side, move. Now what this doesn't have is blind spot monitoring. It has heated mirrors, not blind spot monitoring. And these are a copycat of the Prius C and the windscreen also is a Prius C thing, which you can see this non-straight, odd windshield. You got one big windshield wiper and one small one. Same thing as a Prius C. You got colored door handles, which is really nice. I got colored molding. I didn't pay for that. And um, even the passenger seat over here. You sit over here. You got a lot of room, guys. You could just do the Sprite Eagle if you wanted to. Look at that. I'm just all the way out. And this seat isn't even all the way back. Now, in the center console, you got two lids. You got your first lid, which is all the way to your left, which opens this. You can put business cards and maybe your phone charger, just some basic stuff. Your second lid just flips up. Now, you got nothing in there. You got no uh, 12 volt or USB. So, you got your 12 volt right here. And you got your USB slash aux right there. And that's all you have. Um, unless there's any secret ones, which I haven't found out. Now in here you got a basic size cup hold, or I um, guess you could say, what, uh, I don't even know what this thing is called, but it's hydraulic, just like most Toyotas. Back here you got your uh, um, recirculate um, filter, cabin air filter. And even over here you got a nice little light. Uh, you got different switches, so we always keep it on when the door's on. Not LED, this is the only thing that's not LED on this entire car, these two things right here. Um, you got a little LED light right here that shines in it. You got your cup holders, you got two cup holders right here, two right here, two right here. Um, it does kind of get in the way though when you're driving, you usually have your hand right here, and if you have a big cup or a big coffee, it's kind of stupid after a while. It, it's really dumb right here. You got your adaptive cruise controller, lane departure, all this cool stuff right here. It's pretty basic Toyota stuff. You got a really digital old school clock right here, which I kind of like actually. And it also tells you the time up there and right here. So it tells you the time in three and four places. It's quite interesting. Now on the front you got this is my biggest disappointment. You got two 15, 45, 17 inch aluminum wheels. And I don't really care for rims on a daily driver. And I do not like low profile tires on a daily driver, especially the brand. I am not a big fan of Firestone, which you guys could tell by the Tacoma when I switched it to KO2s. I blew out three tires on that truck before it even hit a thousand miles basically or well two thousand miles I think I'm not happy about this due to what happened to the Prius and that'll be an upcoming video um, the hood not like the Tacoma is dirt light this thing feels like it's aluminum which is absolutely crazy now I don't want to say the legendary you know 1.8 liter but it's a nice engine um, has about a hundred and, I want to say about 140, 150 horsepower. I don't really know the numbers. Super reliable. And you just got, you got a lot of room to work on it. Um, which I won't be working on it, it's, it's newer. But if you do need to work on it, you need to change the battery, the air filter, fuse, AC, the radiators right here, the horns right here. Um, the intake, the exhaust, upper and lower hoses, the starter is right there. The oil, super easy. 
Um, the only thing that's going to be difficult is the shock towers. You actually got to take this whole, you know, plastic thing off, just like the Scion XB that I used to have. It's the same thing. Master brake booster and all that stuff is right there. You still got to take all this off. This car, I like. There's a lot of things that I wish Toyota would have done personally. Um, just just little touches like I don't really care for low profile tires. They are a lot louder than um, than the ones that the L and the LE had. Um, the X S E and the S E and the S have low profile tires and I was hoping I would get Bridgestones on this car, which the LE and the uh, the L actually came with Bridgestone tires, and that was my biggest disappointment about this car: is the tires. And they're quite—they're not expensive tires like a Tacoma, but it's just more money when you buy a new vehicle. You expect better things on it sometimes. Biggest downside of this vehicle that I've noticed. We'll get into it, and I'll show you guys. For being a, a more modern vehicle, I expect this, especially from Toyota, uh, and my girlfriend absolutely hates it. Now, when we put it in reverse, this is the worst backup camera ever. You just see a license plate. It is so blurry and all you see is car, which I understand. Yeah, you're getting close. This is your bumper right here. This is your red line. You need to stop. At least it even has a backup camera. But Toyota, the one on the Tacoma, and I have the base Tacoma, is the clearest, best backup camera I've ever seen in a vehicle. It has a 180 degree view. You can see anything behind you, even like when you're slowly backing out. You can see a car from your left and your right when you're backing out of a spot. You still can't see when you look your head back, and, but the backup camera can. This car's backup camera is the worst, especially the, like the position right here. The, Toyota could have done so much better on the backup camera. Um, Toyota could have done a lot better on some of the body panels as well. This is not what I like about a Toyota, surprisingly. This gap, I don't know why this is here. And you can see this bumper is clear broad. This whole rear bumper is clear broad. It's peeling up already, right there. It is little things that bug me about that type of stuff. At least it's symmetrical. Here's another one. I expect better from Toyota. Um, at least it's not a, a Dodge. <laughs> no offense, I, I love Dodges to death. Um, I've had bad experiences with Chrysler products. It is the smoothest engine though. Quietest ride, besides a tire hum and here and there and just the bumpiness. This thing is easy to speed with, even though it's on a fast car. The CVT transmission likes to rev out really high and it doesn't like to shift all the time it's really aggressive it makes it feel sporty i kind of like it the interior is so good the front end is so good the blind spots none great family vehicle love it i'm actually it it doesn't even feel like a family vehicle i oh, did such a great job of it beautiful vehicle i still miss the prius though sadly dearly miss the prius uh, just, you know, here's some more. Look at this. Here's some body molding falling off. You know, yeah, I could push it down, but expect a little better Toyota, even though you still make amazing vehicles. I love you guys. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the 2018 Toyota Corolla SE in the blue. Um, no special features, no sunroof, no stupid useless stuff that I'm not going to use. A safe vehicle drives itself will basic basically drive itself it'll steer the steering wheel for you and just all this crazy stuff um, favorite vehicle though Tacoma Tacoma all the way 
Corolla, girlfriend loves it. I am, I'm, ha I'm happy she likes it. And a good replacement for a vehicle in 2015 that doesn't have all these safety features. If you're looking for safety features, this is the vehicle. Any Toyota is a good one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment, share it. Um, if you're interested in getting a Corolla or a Tacoma, and you got any questions, please feel free to shoot me a message. And I'll tell you my good experiences and my bad experiences with, with Toyotas, what I've expected with Toyotas, and what I noticeably fails on Toyotas mostly. Um, I've only had Toyotas. I've had two Chevys. Love them. And I love Toyotas. I will get nothing else. And I also had a little 92 Ford Ranger. So please like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, you can tell your buddies. I'm trying to make videos for you guys. It's hard when you work full time. It's a sexy car, huh? I know. It is. It is a great looking car. So please subscribe and see you guys in the next video. Adios.